Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the integration between Microsoft Teams and Kahoot. Uh, most of us know a little bit about Kahoot, that you can run quizzes online, great for formative assessment. Uh, so I want to show you how Kahoot integrates with Teams today. First of all, you should have a Kahoot account. So if you go to kahoot.com and click on sign up if you've never played a Kahoot before, uh, click on teacher, say yep, I'm working at a school. And in this setup account, you can use sign up with Microsoft. So you can use your school details to sign up uh, for your Kahoot. Back over in Teams now, I can uh, a number of different ways get to Kahoot. So if I hit the plus tab here, you can see Kahoot is one of the options I have here. It might be something that you need to set up with the team. So you'll need to choose the Kahoot tab and then allow it to be used in this team. I've already done this so far. so. I'm just going to choose Kahoot as one of the options and it's going to add Kahoot to this team. So I'm going to click on add and now it's going to ask me to sign in and log into my Kahoot account. So I won't post the channel to this tab. So I'm going to log into my Kahoot account here and then I'll be able to add the Kahoots. So you can see here I've got my test quiz. I've just got one on this particular account um, that is ready to go and I can either present or assign. Now the difference is present is the old way of doing things where you're running the Kahoot live in class. You can do the classic mode here where it's player versus player or team mode. You've got all your game options um, here at the bottom about setting up and randomizing the order of questions, all of this sort of thing that you get when you're starting a Kahoot. So if I just click on classic uh, and the Kahoot will then give the code and ready to go, okay? So we're then waiting for our students to get started in this. Notice I haven't left Teams. This is all um, directly integrated within Teams. If I wanted to, I can click on Assign, which is a different thing. So this is assigning the Kahoot challenge to people to do outside of class, which is really cool. So I can give it a date. So I want this to be completed before uh, you know, 1 a.m. on the 11th of June. Uh, the question timer I can turn on and off, randomize the order, uh, the order of the questions, give a note to the team, etc. And they've got uh, explanations for each of these and then hit create. What this means then is that quiz challenge has been sent to everyone in the general channel over here. So if I go over here, you'll see that they've got a new challenge and it's a test Kahoot. It's just got one question uh, where well, they've got two days to do it and they would then go on there, click open challenge and they would then be able to play the Kahoot. Notice that also it's going to play it directly within Teams here. All right, so they enter their nickname, uh, set to join, and then they go through and do the quiz. All right, so two options there. Really nice integration for Kahoot and Teams. You don't have to go off to a separate place. You can always run your Kahoots directly through Microsoft Teams just by going to the Kahoot here and all your Kahoots there are ready to go. So if you want to create some, you'd still need to go to Kahoot to create the quiz, but they're all sitting here, easy to run, either within class or assigned to your students within Microsoft Teams.